James, and this is Parkitect Pre Alpha 9. Welcome to the show. I do appreciate you joining me today. We're going to be working with Pre Alpha 9. I have another video about some of the uh, changes and uh, upgrades in Pre Alpha 9. In this show, I'm going to show you um, how to make a coffee shop using some of the benefits of Pre Alpha 9, including the idea that once I make this coffee shop, I'll be able to save that. We'll show you that in the other video. One of the other things that uh, comes into play when building in Pre-Alpha 9 is that when you raise a piece, it stays at that level and you can place multiple pieces at that same height. Makes it a lot easier to make the buildings. Let's jump in. Here's Parkitect Pre-Alpha 9. Looks pretty much just like every other one except that blue button. One of the things you'll notice here is when I make this building, I'm using these pieces from the um, building set one. And if you place them down, you'll notice that one side is one color and one side's another color. And I went over this a little in my other video, but what this allows you to do is instead of having to manually color them like I did there, if you take a little extra time and flip the walls alternately as you're putting them down, you'll be able to recolor the building very quickly just using a foreground and a background color and dragging across. Now, because we're making a coffee shop, I want to make it uh, kind of a green and tan. Colors of a uh, coffee shop you may be familiar with. Once we get these uh, main walls down, I can just choose the colors and I can just drag across and look how quickly I can make those colors. And the great thing is I'll be able to change them as easily as I want. Using the um, Chinese tile paths, going to make them a, a brown, the path covers, I should say, and uh, just kind of make them a, a kind of a mocha brown with a little bit of a different color and put the path inside. Now let's build a, uh, a place for an employee to sell you some coffee. Now, there's a mod coming out, hopefully soon, where you'll be able to have shops that don't have the big blocky shop itself so you can make your own shop stalls hasn't come out yet but should come out soon and i hope <laughs> i really don't know when it's coming out uh one of the developers is uh, working on it and it'll allow you to actually just have a shop like right in here without having that big building that kind of gets in the way if you want to have a nice looking shop i'm using some fascia pieces and some walls just to build it up. Look, that looks just like the double counter you get in a regular coffee shop, doesn't it? Now, we're going to use some other pieces in ways they're not meant to be. For example, uh, this is a tombstone, and so is that, and so are these. But when you put them down like that, they kind of look like coffee stuff, if you think of it. Once you put it in your mind, this is from the, um, the dining set. These are just the... Uh, quarter support pieces and I'm going to just place these down because they're at a 45 degree angle. They make a nice substitute for a computer screen. Uh, once I just color them gray, uh, those are caskets. Don't pay any attention to the caskets. That's a keyboard. <laughs> so once I color these gray, uh, it'll make a reasonable facsimile for a computer sitting at the counter. Some vases here because they're covered up by most of that countertop. They just look like little uh, round pots where you can drag coffee stuff out color it that that looks really nice doesn't it I, I mean when you look at it for what i have to work with i'm really proud of that uh of that countertop we'll put down some chairs and tables give our people some place to sit and relax while they enjoy their coffee some garbage cans of course this is just looking better and better one of the things I want to do now is I want to go ahead and put a half story on top of this to make the building look a little less squat. Um, you know, we, we put these front front windows in. Um, and the reason we do it like this is we want the big window so we could see inside. We did a lot of work on the inside here. So we want to go ahead and uh, using some of these pieces from that same set, that building set one, we're going to go ahead and we're not holding shift when we're putting these down. What I want to be able to do is put a little bit of splash of color on the front of the building without having it be striped, but not have it come out and hide the uh, wood accents around the windows and the doors. 
one of the things I found out is that if you look carefully, you could see that these pieces are going to hang down into the door frame. I wanted not to be able to see that. The solution was actually pretty simple. I just took the door frame and uh, lowered it down a couple steps, making copies of it just to make the uh, header on the door frame look taller. Works for me. Get a little color in here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get some nice contrast on these colors. Now you see the Z buffering happening in the corner there. I tried covering it up with a pole. I really wasn't happy with it. That's one of the problems you get with this uh, this particular mod is that if your corners are different colors, you notice in the back I made sure they were the same color. Um, you get that Z buffering, but I did not like the look. So I went ahead and I, uh, I just made it so that you couldn't really notice it by putting the pole and it works okay. Now you notice I put this fascia to make that half height I was talking about. I find that buildings that are exactly one high, they just look too squat. So I go ahead and I make the um, this second tier only half as high for the one story buildings. And I think it looks a lot better, it gives it a lot better proportion, especially for a building that you're going to have a sign hanging out on the front. I uh, tried a couple different colors here. In the end, uh, we went for just a uh, kind of a matching color just to avoid going too crazy with the colors on the building. I'm going to put a sign in the front, but uh, I, I just didn't want the um, the building to look... To me, that looks like a Bennigan's. Um, you might not know what that is. It's an old, old um, bar and tavern. Went out of business, most of them, uh, about five, ten years ago. I want a coffee shop. So let's go ahead, um, let's put a uh, something that's going to let you know this is a coffee shop. Now, I probably should have put some, um, some awnings over the window. I'll probably do that if I use it in my park. I just didn't do it. I didn't think about it while I was building this. Did make a nice sign for it. But there you have it. Coffee bucks. I think that looks awesome. Tell me what you think. Uh, leave a comment down below. We appreciate all your comments. Subscribe if you like the video. I do appreciate each and every subscription. Let's me know that you're enjoying my content. I'm Mike James. And until next time, I hope each and every one of you has a good one.